Hey everybody, this is Brother Paxton and I want to talk to you for a minute today about moths and cockroaches. That's right, moths and cockroaches. The Bible says in John chapter 3 verse 20, Everyone who does evil hates the light and will not come into the light for fear that their deeds will be exposed. Now, you know, the interesting thing about it, if someone were to ask you, are you a moth or a cockroach? You'd wonder what they were up to. You thought they were about to mess with your business by asking you that silly question. Think about it. A moth can handle the light. When the light comes on, they hurry to get to it. That's a, that's a picture, if you will, of those who have Jesus in their hearts. We're no longer afraid to step out into the light and say, you know what? I'm not a perfect person. I don't have it all together. I don't always know the right things to say or do but I have Jesus living on the inside of me, and so I'm not ashamed to come out into the light. But a cockroach, on the other hand, uh, if the light's on, they can't get away fast enough. For some reason, they just hate being in the light. And people who have not met Christ, people who don't know Jesus, they're afraid that people are gonna see them for who they are and not approve of them or not accept them or not love them. And that's a very real fear in our world that we live in today. Jesus said that people act in much the same way as moths and cockroaches. The pure in heart run toward the light. Those who are unclean run away from it. This happens everywhere, especially in a courtroom. People pay a lot of money to hide the truth of what they've done. And they spend a lot of energy covering up the truth. That's the behavior of a cockroach. What do you do? Children of God have a particular fondness for light. Remember that. Light doesn't threaten them. It attracts them. It heals them. It puts them back together, if you will, spiritually. And it makes them whole as God intended them from the very beginning. So today, if Jesus is in your heart and you understand that you're cleansed by the blood, you're not perfect, but the Holy Spirit's working on it. The Holy Spirit's conforming you into the image of Jesus every day every moment of every day and you have no problem walking in the light a lot of times you know in the social world that we live in even though we're, we're so connected online but we're not that connected in personal relationships but be that as it may in the social world that we live in today there's a lot of time spent into appearance how does how will this appear how will this look some of that is good but all of it is not good and here's the thing, sometimes if, if someone has a problem with you, that's their problem. Because if you're in Jesus Christ, what you did yesterday is under the blood. What you did five years ago, 10 years ago, 20 years ago, is under the blood. As far as God's concerned, it's washed, it's forgiven. That doesn't eliminate consequences of our actions, but at the same time, it gives us the freedom to go forward and live for God. And so I, I don't worry too much about who has a problem with me or who doesn't. I worry. I don't worry, but I mean, I, my focus is on, am I pleasing the Lord today and am I walking under the blood and in the light? Ladies and gentlemen, walk under the blood and in the light. Be a moth and not a cockroach. This is Brother Paxton. Go with God and he will go with you.